at 6 starts now. It's too hard to say it. A little boy and a little girl killed by their own father. There's just no easy way to talk about the warning signs that popped up before their tragic deaths. I'm Chris Lawrence. And I'm Cynthia Aguirre. Lawrence Akalik dug into court records today. She found the remnants of a contentious divorce and a history of violence. The outline of a charred car on a rural road. And the tears outside of Fort Worth home only begin to tell the tragedy. Court documents help fill in the blanks. They show that years before Mandeep Singh killed his two children in a murder-suicide, his marriage was marred by allegations of violence. The children caught in it all. You can't rationalize it. There, there's no way to rationalize it. Singh married Narinder Kaur in 2008. In 2016, court records show he was charged with beating his wife. They separated that day. After a deferred adjudication, it was dismissed, but by then, Kaur had filed for divorce, citing Singh had a, quote, history or pattern of committing family violence. In November 2018, it was finalized, but this March, Singh filed a restraining order claiming his kid said his ex-wife was hitting them. Core pushed back in her own filing, saying Singh had not shown just cause. And that's not uncommon. Uh, Ken Shetter, who runs Domestic Violence Resource uh, Center One Safe Place, can't speak directly about this case, but says aggressors often file paperwork like this. We know is that domestic violence is all about power and control, and that abusers will do ultimately anything when they feel like they are losing. Uh, power or control in a relationship. What we do know, according to the Cook County Sheriff, is that Singh killed his two children on Mother's Day and then himself just weeks after the latest court proceedings. We know that people who abuse a spouse or an intimate partner are much more likely to ultimately abuse their children as well. And in this case of a four year old boy and a girl who had just turned three, it's a devastating reality. In Fort Worth, I'm Lauren Zakalik.